Welcome back. We're down here at Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery, and today we're joined by Matthew Francis, who is a Duluth native, and he also is studying at the Culinary Institute of America right now. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for visiting with us and cooking with us while you're back here on break in Duluth. We appreciate it. Thank you. I'm yeah, we, we have fun. We've done some things with you before, mm -hmm. and it's always a good time. So I, I expect today to be great. Yeah, good. We're, we're making something... Um, a Greek salad, you said, mm -hmm. but it, it's a little different than what people at home might think, right? Yeah. Um, so usually in America, people are, assume that to have a salad, you have to always have like lettuce greens mm -hmm. with your salad. But you know, around the rest of the world, they don't always include those things. So uh, when I have a Greek salad, I don't put lettuce or romaine or whatever. I just have it with the classic cucumber, red onion, tomato, feta okay. cheese, and like olives and capers, and like a Greek dressing with oregano. That sounds good to me. Yeah, it's, it's delicious. <laughs> and that's what we're going to make today. All right, perfect. Well, then, should we just get right into it? Perfect. I'm excited. All right. So, uh, first, I'm going to chop some red onion, and then this will move right here. Next, we have our Roma tomatoes. Delicious. And while I'm doing that, do you want to crumble some feta? Yes. What you, do you want me to You can put it out? right here. Okay. And do about half of it, I would say. Break okay, this half. smells so good. Yeah. <laughs> I love feta cheese. Feta is one of my Oops. favorites. I'm pretty proud of that crumbling. How's that? Do you want more, or is that a good amount? That'll be perfect for what okay. we need today. Cool. Next, we have the cucumber. So that's all of our main ingredients for the Greek salad. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is make the dressing. Okay. And this you can help me out with. Perfect. Um, while I chop herbs, okay. you are going to start mixing some ingredients in here. Okay. Here we have Dijon, Dijon mustard, Kalamata olives, honey, Perfect. olive oil, and capers. And the um, what's really important with uh, Greek salad is oregano. So put about a tablespoon of um, that mustard into this container. Okay. And then okay. um, do the same amount with honey. And now that you've kind of seen it, you can probably just guess. How much uh, olive oil should I put in there? Put in about half a cup, which if you, like, let's go up to about, like, here. Yeah. More? Maybe, like, one more little smidge. Perfect. There you go. Now you can take both of these lemons okay. and squeeze them into right in there. And then I'll put you want both halves in there, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like the lemon isn't going to really add enough of the acid that we need. It just yeah. adds some flavor. The rest of it comes from apple cider vinegar. Oh. And if you want to put a little bit of each of these juices in there, just okay. a tiny little bit. Perfect. Well, no, put more. Let's be flavorful. Yeah. So now we're putting in the garlic. Mm -hmm. This all smells so fresh yes. and everything. I love that. Um, let's put in some ground pepper and salt, too. Okay. I forgot about that. So we'll both go in together, and we'll grind until I say when. Okay, you're good with pepper. I'm I thought honest. you were telling me I was good at a oh. grinding the pepper, but I'll take that. You did, you did, you did well <laughs> on that front, too. Okay, so now we'll mix it up again, and then we're going to give it a little taste and see if we both like it. I think it tastes amazing. I can't believe we made that. Yeah. So that's, I'm actually really happy with that. Usually I would either add like, some more acid, some more sugar, more salt, but I'm happy. So now we're That was really good. Good. And now we're going to put it into our bottle. Let's see if I miss. We got a pro right here. Yes. Okay, next we're going to mix everything together, okay? Okay. <laughs> so we're going to put about two parts of cucumber, so let's say like two handfuls, right? Okay. One, one handful. handful of tomato. And one of the red onion. Mm-hmm. And then what about cheese? Do you put cheese on it? Cheese on, we'll sprinkle on. I'll put a little bit in now and then a little bit more on top. Okay. And then the last thing, before we um, uh, mix it and put it in the bowl, we're going to get some olives and capers and put those in as well. And now we can mix this up. And we'll put it in your pretty bowl. Look how pretty this looks. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do uh, is put a little bit more dressing on top. Okay. And you can sprinkle as much cheese as you want. <gasps> Fun! All right, Matthew, so we have our finished product. Yep. I think it looks amazing, so I'm excited. We sampled the sauce a little earlier, mm -hmm. the dressing, mm -hmm. and it was delish, but I'm excited to eat it all together. So I'm going to take a bite, and while I take a bite, you have a YouTube channel yes. that people can check out. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah. I'll take so, a bite of this. 
Um, uh, when I was 18, I was uh, working in Seattle. I had some free time, so I started a YouTube channel. And I started. I made a commitment to make a cooking video every week. Um, and I've never stopped doing that since then. And it's like opened up a lot of doors for me. It taught me a lot about not only cooking, but also how to do uh, social media and use technology and use video. Mm -hmm. And now I love it so much that I think I want to go in that direction and um, take my cooking expertise and my video expertise and yeah. meld those two together. That's amazing. So yeah. you can be helping people with that in your future. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, people can check out your channel yes. and get some tips and everything. So yes. youtube.com slash brainfoodmfj. Or if you just search brain food one word, you'll see my face with this chef coat on. <laughs> and you can click there and subscribe. All right, awesome. And new videos every week. So mm -hmm. how wonderful. And speaking of wonderful, this is amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm going to be doing this by myself. This is something I can do. And I'll feel like I'm a real chef. Mm -hmm. All right, I like that. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to do this with us. It was fun. Yeah, and this turned out well. I'm actually really, really pleased. Good. I, I'm a well, pat on the back there. Yeah. For Thank you. All right. For Cooking Connection, we're at Ferguson Bath Kitchen in Lighting Gallery, and we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> That looked delightful. Oh, it was delightful. It was so delightful. I threw my fork across yeah, the floor I saw that. on accident. I've done that before. Yeah, I, that was what we said. We we're like, William just did that a month ago. But, oh, man, that was so good. And Matthew is so much fun. Yeah, so you, thank you, Matthew, for doing that with us. You can really tell that that young man has been explaining cooking for a little while that mm -hmm. YouTube channel got to check it out because he was Oh, really yeah, eloquent. and he had so many good tips for me, mm -hmm. um, just so much he's learned at school. And, you know, I used to do it this way, now I do it this way, and this is why, and it's really cool. So. That's awesome. Yeah, all right. Well, there are still 30 minutes.